Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another speed build video, Upper City Zoo. And thank you guys so much for all your votes to the poll of what favorite animals of habitat animals you want to see in our city zoo. If you haven't seen it yet, I posted an overview of the top 10 together with my uh, kind of plans for the rest of our city zoo. Obviously things can change and stuff, but the plans you can find on my community wall, I will link that in the description down below if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, we have some really nice plans thanks to your top 10 most favorite animals together with a few of my own favorites, of course, and some ideas I already had to do in City Zoo. But it really gives me a really nice vibe to know what we're working towards to. And uh, it's also just nice to see what kind of animals you like to see in our City Zoo. So thank you again so much for voting. Voting is closed, so you can't vote anymore, but hopefully this resembles a, a bit of everyone that is watching and your most favorite animals, so hopefully no one will be super disappointed. So what we are doing right now, and I do have to give a lot of credits to Mr. Silverad and a build he did in Koali Zoo. I really loved that building, and I think it was the Japanese macaque? Or the chimpanzee. I'm not really sure what animal it was, but I will link the video in the description. But yeah, I definitely almost ripped off the idea of that building, the front of that building, and I obviously changed it in a city zoo style instead of a tropical Indonesian style. The shape was just too cool to not use, so I obviously asked Silv, like, are you okay with this? And he was like, yeah, sure, as long as you credit me. So here you go, Silv. Thank you so much for this awesome inspiration. Because to be honest, I wanted to build a reptile house like this, exactly like this, ever since we were working on Mainland Zoo, but I never just knew how to do that front of the building or how to give the building shape. So this has been super helpful to really finally build that reptile house I wanted to build in Planet Zoo. So I'm really excited to finally do this. So this is basically like the older building they built like years ago in our city zoo and the wings used to be smaller in the zoo but a renovation took place and they built like very big wings a bit similar to the outside of the wings of my reptile house in Koali Zoo for those that are following Koali Zoo and uh, I used both of these kind of shapes together with the build of Silver Red to create the reptile house we are working on right now. So it will have two big wings on both sides and it will be connected with a path in between. So there will be one long path going from one wing to the other wing going upstairs again. So we have different elevations in the path, which I will get back to in a minute again. So in the first wing, we're going to see the saltwater crocodile, which was in the top 10 of your most voted, most favorite animals in the poll. And together with the now monitor, so we're gonna put those guys in the first wing. And in the second wing, we're going to have the Gariel Komodo dragon and the Algebra Giant tortoise. And the Algebra Giant tortoise, I actually forgot to add in the poll. I feel so ashamed, but I didn't do it. And I saw many people commenting like, if you're gonna do reptile house, you should definitely add the other tortoise. And I was like, oh my God, yeah, I totally forgot. So thank you guys so much for mentioning that. Obviously, the Algebra Giant Tortoise will get a spot too in this reptile house. And with this whole reptile house, we're basically covering all the reptiles that we have in Planet Zoo. Obviously, we already have the exhibit animals in the other building we did in the beginning of our city zoo. So yeah, with that, we have all the reptiles that you can kind of think of in Planet Zoo. So that is really cool. So the wings will be not like you have seen in Koali Zoo. Like Koali Zoo was very much straight. This is going to be way more natural and way more dynamic like we have done a little bit in a South America temple. So we're gonna have like path going up and down and round and we have different waterfalls. We're gonna have different underwater viewing galleries. We have obviously some more normal viewing galleries. 
And because of the path that it will be going up and down, you will have different viewings from the top side in the habitats and also sometimes just from the ground level. So yeah, we're gonna have a cool playing around with different viewing areas and areas for a guest to really explore the habitat. So it's, it's really cool to see the guest moving around in the reptile house and really exploring everything in the habitats and all the animals. So that is the really the idea of it and it's just yeah it's really uh coming along nicely and i'm saying that but you're going to see only the reptile house build itself because it took me quite a long time to actually finish this so instead of like having a speed build video which is either way too long or either sped up way too fast because then you are not even able to see what i'm doing so i decided to split it up if if videos are too long i'd rather just split them up instead of like putting them all together so i'm trying to do my best as much as possible to get the top 10 animals in the videos but sometimes i really just have to pick what i'm building at but i really hope you guys will still enjoy even though they were not in the top 10 but it, it's gonna be some kind of roadmap at least for a city zoo so for those who haven't seen it yet we're also going to build an asian region in our city zoo with the snow leopard japanese macaque siberian tiger giant panda bengal tiger and the timber wolf and we're also going to build a African region with the hippo habitat I was talking about. I really want to use Berlin Zoo for inspiration for that habitat. And together, well not together, but we're also going to build a habitat for the Western Chimpanzee, the Mandrill and the Okapi. And I also really want to do something with a safari ride. And that is basically because I heard that many people would love to see a safari ride in Kuali Zoo. And that really brought me to the idea because in the top 10 we also had the giraffe and the african elephant so i was like you know what i'm going to build a safari ride somewhere here too like not too big i'm really gonna try still to keep it a bit smaller so it really still feels a bit like a city zoo but with a jeep safari so we're gonna have the African elephant, giraffe, zebra, African buffalo, common ostrich, warthog, cheetah, and African wild dog all somehow around the African safari. Obviously we're gonna build different habitats and some habitats will also have like a normal viewing area for people to just walk and see the animals and they will have a different area where you will have the ride going through it. And also something I'm very excited about is an area which uh, we're gonna call it Land of the Cold and for people that know Pidey Daiza from Belgium they have a Land of the Cold and they recently renovated the polar bear habitat now because of the COVID situation and stuff it the zoo has been closed so there are not that many pictures of that area yet but the zoo itself posted a picture on Twitter and I was like oh my goodness that is so gorgeous so yeah that really triggered me like oh my goodness so the polar bear was already in the top 10 so i'm definitely going to use i'm going to build a polar bear habitat no doubt i already wanted to and at that point i saw some pictures and a video i think it was someone mentioned it on my discord server of uh, the polar bear habitat in wildlands at least like the area which i really like to have like a bit more a thematic area but it also really fits with the land of the cold area of Pidey Daisa, so it's probably going to be a little bit of a mixture of both zoos as an inspiration but also Rotterdam Zoo Blyderp also has some really cool features so I might mix the three of them a little bit together and take inspiration of all of it so yeah I'm really excited for that and the land of the cold will also have the arctic wolf the dull sheep the reindeer and the american bison in that specific area so that is at least the plans for now as I said things can still change a little bit I might be able to add some more animals that are not on these lists but I think it's a nice way of just having a roadmap or an idea of what we're going to do in our city zoo for the rest of the zoo. So the last two things I want to talk about is the hallway of the reptile house which looks really I'm really proud of the hallway how it is looking at this point like the area where the people come into 
the reptile house and you have like this glass roof thank you Sylph again for that inspiration so you have this round glass roof above it but for many of the time the sides of that path were both open so you could basically see into the reptile house now obviously if you only look at planet zoo if you would keep that open the people would not even bother to use the other paths in the wings if they could see the animals so obviously I had to close it off but I didn't want to close it off too much so in the end I created some kind of windows ish idea and also with a bit of inspiration of Mike Sheets what he did with like planks being on top of each other and like letting through a little bit of light but then again also still being closed for a feeling so yeah I really use that as inspiration to close the sides off of the hallway but I'm really happy how that one has turned out so I really hope you guys like that too and the last thing I want to say is we also did a poll you can still vote for that if you want to on the community wall I will also link that post in the description down below about a new franchise mode series so I really am thinking to do that and the the question was on the poll what kind of biome would you like me to start in and there was kind of a question like the most people voted for a tropical biome but there were also a lot of people saying like yeah I like the tropical biome but everyone uses the tropical biome so it will be more fun which was the second most voted for was a desert and I am actually thinking to maybe indeed start with the desert because I don't know I've never played in it but I'm also then again a little bit afraid that it's going to be a little bit boring because you're going to stay in the same style maybe so yeah I'm not really sure I'm really curious how you guys feel about that so would you still go for desert just because it, no one barely plays in the desert biome or would you still go for the tropical biome because you probably have a little bit more options with like theming and stuff so yeah I'm really curious how you guys feel I actually still even though I'm a little bit afraid of the theme I actually tend to start in the desert because I, th I think it can be cool and very beautiful with like the color scheme and together with like the green plants and stuff you get like really beautiful contrast it's a little bit like Inama Zoo and maybe that's why I'm a little bit afraid but Inama Zoo was really a natural reserve so it didn't give me too many options in like creating real buildings and stuff and that is going to be different but that is maybe the idea of why I'm a little bit afraid of the desert biome but I'm really curious how you guys feel about that and also if we're going to start that I am going to use a Rudy Rankamol credits to you Rudy Rankamol a little bit of his idea of letting uh, you guys create some kind of climbing frame or restaurant or shelters and anything you can think of that I could use for the franchise series so I'm already planning to open a chat room in my discord server so people can easily link some stuff to me I think it's gonna be fun to use smaller builds of you guys sometimes bigger builds and then combine it together with obviously me tying it all up together making it all nice and beautiful together with your awesome builds so I think that's gonna be a fun idea I'm really curious if if you guys have any ideas or suggestions about that and obviously if you want to join those builds definitely go and join my discord server you can find a link in the description don't worry if you come into my discord you will see a channel called self assignable roles and there you can select what kind of chat you want to see I, I know some people don't really notice it but other if you don't check any self assignable roles you will not see any chat so just be aware of that and if you come in there's nothing wrong with your discord you really need to select those roles so that's just a side note so anyways let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the start of our reptile house if you have any ideas or suggestions do let me know in the comment section down below please leave a like at the video if you guys enjoy because it really does help me out and the channel of course subscribe of course if you haven't already and if you would like to consider some extra support you may want to consider to become a FaveFam YouTube member with the link in the description thank you all so much for watching I really hope to see you guys all in the next one Bye guys!
Amen.